We are now at Las Palmas on Gran Canaria. We are on our way to see Sailing Saeta. It's been a long day and we still have a seven hour ferry ride ahead of us to Lanzarote. <laughs> It is now 10.30 and the ferry will arrive around midnight. And yeah, we just try to pass the time now and to stay awake. It's 5.30 in the morning. We are, we're getting in a car because we need to drive to Arsif. We need to drive to the docks because we need to pick up Makani. Uh, Kathy and Max arrive at 6.30. It's about 45 minutes, one hour drive. So here we are, <laughs> sleepy, but yeah, we're getting there. I think the skipper needs to learn how to dock properly. It's been to like half an hour. Says Miguel. More like two minutes, but still it feels like. <laughs> this is the face of excitement. <laughs> and the eyes of it. Despite the fact that we were all incredibly tired. We were also extremely excited to see each other again. Hello! We need to do that again because you know, we don't have it on film now. Hi! <laughs> uh, nice to see you! Another 45 minutes later, we finally arrived at the marina and the boat. And after moving in, a much needed shower and unpacking our stuff, we decided to spend two nights in the marina before we took the boat to a nearby anchorage. It was so nice to sail again and the volcanic landscape got us really excited to explore this strange looking island. But before that we made sure that the anchor holds. It looks so strange.
After exploring, it was time for provisioning. Three weeks on the open ocean with four people requires a lot of food and supplies. So we made a list and went shopping. Back on the boat we made sure that there's enough storage space for all the groceries. We soon made plans to sail to Gran Canaria overnight. But before we actually left Lanzarote, we had to see what's under the surface. Hi, hello and good morning. Hi guys. So. Like you can see, we are back on our boat. Yes. Um, the Atlantic crossing didn't work out for us. Um, as you know, uh, maybe you didn't. Um, we planned on joining Sailing Saeta, Miguel and Saskia, on their boat uh, to cross the Atlantic this year. So we... If you watch this video, you know about this. <laughs> Ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> but if you skip to this part, you might not. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um, so we flew out uh, to the Canary Islands. Um, uh, Took a ferry to Lanzarote. Yes, and on Lanzarote we met uh, Miguel and Saskia, got on the boat. Um, we had an amazing time there. Lanzarote, we explored the island, we did snorkeling. Um, from there we sailed down to Gran Canary. An overnight, uh, about 20 hours, a um, little bit of everything, the sail was, was good, the sail was bad, we had the motor, so... No waves, big waves, yeah. Um, yeah, and then after the, after the crossing from Lanzarote to Gran Canary, um, Kati and I, um, we both um, came to the conclusion and when we talked about it, we, we were surprised that we both felt the same and the, the, the feeling we had was that we, we are not there yet, um, that it's not right for us at this point in time to do such a long um, journey. Passage, yeah. um, maybe, maybe it's because we are still... Um, not we maybe we haven't recovered enough from from our trip down the Atlantic coast to to the Met where we are now. But um, you you can't really see this in the videos, but um, we didn't have that great of a time this past year or uh, after the lockdown um, after our trip from England to yeah the Met yeah. eventually. For us, um, it it is a real challenge. You 
coming down the the, the coast or uh, sailing in general, I guess, is a is a challenge. Um, Especially on the Atlantic. And we are not experienced sailors in any way. So um, yeah, we we did struggle. Um, we were exhausted several times. Um, and that also let us come to the, the decision yeah. to to go into the mat um, because we really didn't know where this sailing adventure will take us and and for us the Mediterranean um, seemed to be the, the safer option um, because from the mats we we do have more, more experience more, yeah more experience in the mat maybe but be honest not really um but the mat um they offer m more options, options for us yeah. because from a mat you can still go out again in the into to the atlantic um but also you can yeah stay in the mat and and for us that also means we can sail Makani closer to home so somewhere in italy or croatia or somewhere in this corner yeah. of the mat yeah. um where we could eventually park her and and drive home and yeah rebuild no, dock her <laughs> yeah dock her and and yeah. and rebuild um a life back in Vienna um and maybe in a few years down the road we will start another adventure um maybe if, yeah maybe this adventure goes we'll, on yeah. and so we really don't know. Um, yeah, uh, back to the point why we didn't cross the Atlantic. Yeah, it it felt wrong for us. Yes. Um, so the time with Saskia and Miguel, it was amazing. The, so if, if you have the chance to check out the Canary Islands, you really should. Do it. <laughs> um, yeah, but... Yeah, it didn't feel right. And... Um... Yeah, so we ended up not doing it. Um, I don't know how we can explain this much more than we already did. I mean, this now sounded like, you know, the this whole adventure is bad and we don't want to do it anymore. That's not the case. We really want to explore um, the, the Mediterranean Sea next year. And we honestly don't know where this adventure leads us and if we end up in Vienna and recreate or uh, recreate not recreate but rebuild or um, yeah go back to work and then do another adventure in a few years or if we are staying on the boat and yeah keep exploring the mat for the next three years or whatever so we don't know that yet and nothing is set in stone um, but crossing the Atlantic yeah didn't make sense for us and this has a few factors that came into um, this decision. Also the pandemic and all of the uh, restrictions that you, we might have over there. So if we then after three weeks being out at sea, which for us wouldn't be fun, <laughs> um, then you arrive somewhere beautiful. You might not be able to explore it like you want uh, to see enough of it that it was worth it. Um, and yeah, uh, that was also a factor, but that was not the main reason. The main reason was that it didn't feel right to do it. Yeah. yeah. And now I can um, relax a bit more with the boat projects because we really have a lot to do on our boat before we are uh, fit for, for for spring and and for the cruising season in the Met. Um, it's also something that we just realized doing this trip, you know, because what we did is we bought the boat, we moved in and we left. And now we realized after one and a half years living actually and traveling with the boat that it needs improvement to continue this adventure or to make this adventure more comfortable for us or mm -hmm. yeah, better uh, to, yeah. So we are constantly working on that to make it, yeah, more enjoyable for us. And yeah, yeah that's what we are doing now. 
um, the winter projects are going on strong. <laughs> uh, yes, so this is what we will film and uh, document these next months. And yeah, we will stay here in Spain over the winter and over Christmas. And, and then next year in spring, as soon as the weather is right, we will continue to sail. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's it so far. Good. Then, yeah, I, we hope you like this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> like and subscribe. Subscribe and join us next time <laughs> when we explore more of the Canary Islands. <laughs> See you. Bye.